Hi there, this is TR for Stagecoach Road Sewing Machine. Today I've got a beautiful Kenmore of the 158 series. These were made in the late 60s and early 70s. Uh, ladies of a certain age might remember sewing on these in home economics class. This whole line of Kenmores um, from this era, the ones that are painted this color, are really solid good machines. Every time we get one in here, I'm like, wow, that's a good machine. So this one comes with a cabinet, or excuse me, <laughs> a carrying case that latches over the top. And inside the carrying case uh, comes a extension bed that flips up inside of the case and you can put it on the machine. It's uh, just a cute little convenience for having an extra sewing area right there. I'm going to take that off right now. This machine also comes with an original box that holds an original set of 10 Kenmore bobbins, which are the same size as Singer Class 15. So if you want more bobbins, you can go to your fabric store or sewing machine store and ask for Class 15 bobbins. Machine also comes with a, in addition to the zigzag foot, comes with a straight stitch only foot. Very helpful in making precise straight stitch seams. You will notice that this foot is a high shank foot. When you want to buy additional attachments for this machine, you specify high shank center needle. Machine is a zigzag, as I said, and it also has a blind hem. This little box back together here. There we go. Sears Kenmore. Okay. The zigzag machine, and it is a class 15 mechanism, which means the bobbin goes in one of these little bobbin cases underneath the bed of the machine. Let's wind a bobbin right now. First, we've got to turn the machine on, which you do with this little white button right here. Notice the light comes on. Light's easy to change. It's right there. And we have threaded the machine up around here. We're going to wind a bobbin. We turn the interior knob backwards while we're holding the outer one to declutch the machine. And let's wind up bobbin. Push this over. I'm not going to wind a full bobbin for this demo, just about that much. But if you wanted to wind a full bobbin, once the thread reached the Okay, we're going to wind the bobbin here. We've got this threaded, goes around this little spool, over to the bobbin, around some bobbin thread. And we're not going to go all the way with that because we're just going to do a demo here. But if you kept going all the way to the end, the bobbin would click off. And you just put that back on so you're gearing up the machine again. Pull the bobbin off the spindle, and let's thread it goes like this. Tick. And it goes right under here. Click. And let that thread go down. Now let's thread the top. Through the little pigtails. Around the tension. Kick the tension spring. And through there down like that and around through that little pigtail right there and one more here lots of thread guides good thread control this machine threads from left to right oh we gotta thread them there we go now Turn the wheel towards you, always towards you on this machine, and you bring up the bobbin thread. There it is. Now we're ready to sew. Let's just try our basic old piece of broadcloth here, just to see what the machine feels like. Just get a little run. Get a sound of it. And I'll put about two. This is your stitch length. Here's your stitch width with an S for straight. 
and I'll show you this control in a minute. Let's just sew some straight stitch here. Just cruising right along. Let's see if we can go nice and slow. Oh, we can go really fast. Woo! Oh, nice stitch. Very nice. The thread on three there. Ten thread tension. Backwards is here. See? Push to the middle. Let's try a zigzag. Raise the needle. This is your stitch width. Let's go all the way wide. Oh boy. Let's make it a little shorter. And you got a nice zigzag there. Zigzag is so great for decorative stuff or mending or finishing the edges of things. Gotta have a zigzag. And of course you can reverse there too. Now, this is a blind hem stitch over here. That means it goes straight, 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 and then zigzags. So then we have to set this to S. There it goes. One, two, three. Here it is. Oh, oh. get on the fresh fabric so you can see. Now, the reason you would use that is when you're making a blind hem. Now over here, you've got your, you can set your needle all the way over to the sewing on the right side now, see, sewing on the right over here, sews in reverse, oh I know what this is for, okay hang on a second. This is a four-step buttonhole. This is the forward section of that buttonhole. Put it on a little bit of zigzag there, and then you've got the bar tack. Wow. Let's see what it'll do on some heavier fabric. Here's an old piece of the bottom of a pair of overalls here. We've sewn a few things on this before. Let's see how this little Kenmore will handle it. Straight stitch. Straight stitch. Long stitch length. Heavier fabric means longer stitch length. Right over that seam with no problem. Look at that. Wow. Let's just go off onto this. Here's a piece of bonded leather. Let's just go off onto that. Not a problem. Wow. Not a problem with heavy fabric. Really nice balanced tension too. Okay. One other thing you can do. Here's your feed drop for this machine. Drops the feed. Release the pressure right there. Now, if you wanted to do outline quilting, free motion, see that? You can just zigzag all over the place. And this machine maintains a really good top and bottom tension when doing this. Some machines have a little tr more trouble with it. Then if you want to go right back to sewing a regular seam, see that? Just to release the tension, push it in, raise the feet again, and now we're back to regular sewing. This really awesome Kenmore is it's just a really fine sewing machine. It's heavy. Um, you can set it on your table like I've got here. We've got the it's portable in that you can move it around. I wouldn't consider it portable like you're going to carry it to class unless you, you know, feel like building muscles at the same time. It's a sturdy, heavy machine. It sews really well. I've also got a marked throat plate here, marked in eighths, three eighths to eight eighths, which is an inch. And that is your on off switch. 
And there it is. Would you like to own this? Contact us. And you can. <laughs>